So for the lay person like me that might have some idea of this stuff, why is the rib cage and breathing so much more important than people kind of believe that? Because we, we can tell people, hey, we need to fix your breathing. It's like, I'm here, I'm alive, I'm breathing. But what's below the surface of that? Right, so the rib cage is not just a static bone in your body that does not move. I mean, it's there for evolutionary purposes and the concept of how the rib cage even kind of came about is, is interesting on its own. With respect to training, with respect to just breathing itself, the simplest thing that I can have in terms of discussions for, you know, if I'm talking to a client, I ask them how you breathe, and then, you know, they might not have any answers. Like, I just breathe, totally fine. Then I try to explain, well, there's prime muscles that help with breathing, and then there's accessory muscles that help with breathing. Like, if every breath you take, whether or not it's from 18 to 20 something thousand breaths in one day, if all your breath comes from your neck and you go, that's like every breath you take, you're using your neck muscles. Probably not the prime muscles you want to assist for many reasons, but at the same time, your neck muscles don't 100% help you pull in air to your lungs. And then we could start talking about gas exchange, we could talk about all these different things.